Guys, let's start another video. We're here with the Ford Fiesta, another video for the party goers who are always looking for information and want to watch some informative videos about this car. We're here with the Ford Fiesta again, right, recording more content for you. Many people still have doubts about buying this car here, right? So I'm bringing a series of videos, right, to keep you always informed about something that sometimes no one told you or that you have a lot of doubts about, and so on. Today we're going to clarify a lot of things here for you, so stay tuned, guys. Hi guys, totally firm, welcome everyone to another video. We're starting another video here in the area and this time in the car vlog guys like that. Today we're going to talk a little bit with you about the Ford Fiesta, one of the most recommended popular cars now in 2024. Why is that, right? We're going to exchange some ideas and I'm going to clear up some of your doubts about this car, so stay tuned for the video. I'm asking you to like it, subscribe to the channel, activate the bell, share as much as you can to strengthen our journey here on YouTube. Are you ready, guys? So, let's get to the video. Yeah, let's start here. We're on the highway with a Ford Fiesta. This one here is a 2003 Ford Fiesta, Supercharge 1.0. Power steering. It doesn't have air conditioning, right? But the power steering in this car here helps a lot, man. It's something really useful for everyday life, right? Many people don't take it into consideration, but I really like power steering. Stop suffering, right, man? The older cars, I had a Square Voyage, 1985 and it was actually light. When the car was taking off, it was moving, right? It was even a little light to drive everything else. But the problem is when you park your car, you have to use force on the steering wheel. But nowadays, technology has revolutionized everything. And nowadays, there is even electric steering, you know, man, and people say that electric steering is really cool. And new cars are already coming out with electric steering, which is really light. I've even driven an electric car, the Nevos, which is also on my channel. I was really surprised by this steering, which I found very light, but hydraulic steering is not that far behind. Of course, electric steering is much lighter than hydraulic steering, but you're crazy, man. Hydraulic steering helps a lot in everyday life. And the Ford Feist, this one here is a 2003 Ford Fiesta, man. And they've already been importing hydraulic steering. It doesn't come with air conditioning. It doesn't have air conditioning, but since it's a 2003 model year, it's actually quite ahead of the game, man, because it has power steering here on the door, and there are electric windows on both front doors. There are Ford Fiesta models that have all four, but this one only has the front ones, which helps a lot. Not to mention the fuel consumption, man, this car here, I'm telling you, can do 15 kilometers on the highway, 15 kilometers on the highway, you're crazy, man. It's a very good fuel consumption in the city too. The fuel consumption there is surprising. I think it can do up to 11 kilometers per liter of gasoline. This one here is the gasoline model, it's original gasoline, it's not the flex model, because there are some Ford Fiesta models that are flex models, right? This one here is only original gasoline. And people say that there are some variations of flex cars with original gasoline cars, but I don't know if there are. If anyone has this information, leave it on the channel if you've ever had a Ford Fiesta that's flex fuel, or a flex fuel car, and then you got a car that's original to a certain type of fuel. What was your experience with these two models? Were there any changes or not? But comparing the two car models, they have the same consumption. And I see, I've seen. I've seen a lot of people coming to the channel and saying, wow, gee, but are you saying that your Ford Fiesta is doing this and mine isn't? Guys, keep a close eye on the parts of your car that use fuel. Sometimes it could be a clogged injector, right? Injector nozzles are a big problem when it comes to consuming a lot of fuel in the car. Spark plugs, cables. So you have to identify all of that. And whether you like it or not, even the air filter, man, if it's really dirty, it ends up consuming a little more fuel, and a flat tire also ends up consuming a little more fuel. So there are some variations that sometimes we don't take into consideration, but they make all the difference in the car, man. Sometimes we leave things to be desired, we don't let it happen, we don't pay attention to these details, right? These are important details. Look, let's take a look here. You can see that the power steering is light, man. I don't even make an effort. I'm steering here with one hand so you can see, 
look. I don't use a bit of force, right? Just here, look, I go easy, with one hand, I can maneuver without forcing too much, right? So, I think the power steering on the Ford Fiesta is very light. Yes, many people ask, but why is it a highly recommended car now in 2024, a popular car highly recommended for consumption, for parts too, which are also very cheap parts. It's a car that doesn't break down like that, you know? It has maintenance, the maintenance of this car here is totally very cheap, right? And it's a car that doesn't break down. I see many newer cars, you know, that break down much more than this one. And this one, because it's a 2003 model, man, I'll tell you, man, it's really good. It's a car that has everything you need. Its finish is really good too, you know? Both on the top, white, everything else, with the gray colors. So, it really matches those two colors. But the trunk space is also great, it has a lot of space, right? A lot of people say that there's no space for a standard car, and everything else, unless you want to carry 10 things, you know, carrying a ton of stuff, then it won't fit either, right, man? Depending on what you're going to carry, not even a sedan will fit, because some people go overboard, right, man? But for those who like to travel with their family, this car will meet your needs on the highway, in urban areas, and it will also give you top fuel consumption. You won't have to worry about maintenance, so it ends up being a very useful car, really top-notch, you know? I highly recommend it. And for those of you who have some doubts about some Ford Fiesta models, and so on, I can tell you that this car here, man, is not left behind, no. It's a car that really surprises. I really like it, I have nothing to complain about this car here. You know, but in terms of space it will also meet your needs well, so whatever you need in the car, whatever you want in the space, it will meet your needs. So it's really good, man, really good. No, the parts for it are easy to find. Then many people will say something like, wow, but Ford left Brazil, right? Well, I won't be able to find all the parts anymore. No, man, you'll find them there, no problem. You won't have a headache finding the part, because many people say they can't find parts, or whatever. It's nothing, man. Ford parts will still be available for our cars, for some generations still, so there won't be a shortage. So before you get worried, oh, but crazy, gee, Ford left Brazil, are you recommending the Ford Fiesta? I won't find parts, I won't find what, I don't know what. I don't know what, man. No, don't put that in your mind, because if you think like that, there will be parts for generations there, still, so you can rest assured about that. I highly recommend it, yes, because if it were a bad car I wouldn't recommend it to you. If this car broke down too much, I would say, guys, don't buy the Ford Fiesta, because the Ford Fiesta is shaped like a brake. I was going to tell you, because here I'm not fooling anyone, I'm showing you what the car is like, showing you the reality that you'll go through in a car like this. So I don't have to lie about this car either, you know? But it's a car that takes into account a very good car for your day-to-day. -day. Cooling part. I've already made some videos explaining, but they weren't detailed. I'm going to make a detailed one for you. What is the cooling part? The engine reheating part, which is the part with the water hoses. Yes, some Fords, they are a problem. They are some chronic problems that they have. But if it's not a problem like this you won't be discouraged by the car, because it's an excellent car. Be careful. Guys, take care of the car, take care of the cooling parts, change the hoses, always keep an eye on it so that the car doesn't overheat, overheat, because then the head gasket burns out too. But if you solve the hose part, always keep an eye on the part where you put water, the parts of the hose that pass water, you won't have any problems, you'll have a super mega car for you to enjoy with your family and do your projects too. This happens on a daily basis. I highly recommend it. So, there you have it. Dude, why is it one of the most recommended popular cars now in 2024? Maybe because, right? Many people take it into consideration, but that's why, guys. So, let's keep the video here. I hope you enjoyed some of the things.
Leave a big like, subscribe to the channel, activate the bell, share as much as you can. It will really strengthen our journey on YouTube. And that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed it a little. If you have any questions about buying this car now in 2024, I highly recommend it, okay? Well, it's not a car that I won't recommend to you, because it's one of the most popular cars we've had and I see it a lot on the street and a lot of people talking about it, you know? Wherever you go, you'll always see a Ford Fiesta. So it's a car that ends up doing really well in Brazil, man. A lot of Brazilians jump on this car here without thinking twice. And whoever sold this car here regrets selling it to this day, because I know a lot of people, huh? But that's it, guys. If you have any questions about anything, leave them in the comments and I'll be answering. I'll be clarifying your doubts. Any questions you have, anything. And I also accept suggestions for videos. If you have any ideas for videos, you can leave them on the channel and we'll be looking at the ideas and taking them to bring the videos to you. Deal? We're in this together. That's us. Thanks for everything, guys. Leave a big like, subscribe to the channel, activate the bell and now you can be a member of the channel if you want to help us out with everything else. There is the option, thanks, that you can contribute to the channel of some project and there is the member option that you can subscribe and receive exclusive videos there with the chat, with me everything else. Strengthen, guys, we are together, that's us, thank you for everything, I really was.